Okay, <laughs> you're on. So, my wife wanted to be moved into our new home right away. No, we should wait a little bit longer. No, no, I think we can do it. I think we can move in right away. So, you listen to your wife. <laughs> Then you might be stuck doing things like this to keep warm when it's not 100% summer or spring yet. I'm actually taking insulation and just stapling them on the outside to make kind of like a tent-ish <coughs> kind of barrier so that wherever the wood stove is is where we're keeping warm. See? We don't have the proper stuff to put both stoves in here right now so that is the only one that is keeping us warm and it's not made to heat up what is this 900 and, 900 and something square feet 40 yeah, i think 940 nine. Yeah. square feet of space it's not really made for that so we have to make our house seem a little bit smaller so I'm stapling these on this side, just because I don't want them, you know, sticking out over everything. So that's what I'm doing. Isn't it pretty? Yay for heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're very aware you shouldn't staple your insulation. We know that. <laughs> But when we're still getting to minus ones and minus threes, I thought we would be okay, but yeah, no. Yeah, we have what? Maybe, maybe another week of minus one, minus two, sometimes minus, minus three at night. So it's a little cold, especially For when there's no insulation and you have to heat up this big area. So we're kind of... Trying to and if it was just the two lot. of us, it wouldn't be so bad. I wouldn't mind waking up a little brisk in the mornings and such. But with having the uh, children, well, yeah, you can't do that. I'd rather my kids be warm. Like that's the most important thing. So we're doing what needs to be done. Upstairs, the kids have a nifty little fort set up where um, they're nice and warm. And they've also got their own little portable heater, which kills my power by the morning time. But hey, at least they're warm. <laughs> Again, they are the most important. There's only so much I can do here. <laughs> Ta -da. So this insulation came from, what, one wall in the tote room? Yep. One wall in the tote room in the old house. Which basically was big enough to fit a 4x4 four four tote? Yeah, 4x4 four four tote. And I still had about probably 3 feet of space where we had first had the batteries. Right? And then we moved the batteries outside and it was warm enough for them. Um, yeah, so it was about 3 feet extra. So then it would be 4x8. Awesome, yeah. So, yeah, and that's one wall. With the other walls and roof, I'm hoping to be able to maybe do... I'm going to go get more insulation. <laughs> Look at that butt, everybody. Isn't it a nice butt? And she has run away. So it's just me and you here. So, while I've got you here, I will show off my beautiful... It was a total piece of junk when we got it. Um, everything was rotted out. Everything was rusty. Like you can still see a little bit of the rust here. Our lovely wood box. We have to stock it about every hour and a half, two hours. So it's not very fun at night. Then we've even got my water thing. I use this for dishes and I just change it on a daily basis. See, and as you can see, some of the rust. Yeah. 
warming drawers. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. And my bath water for tonight. Yay. Still cold. Still cold. So yeah, this is our lovely heat stove. And this is our old couch potato who lives in the house during the evenings because he's just too old. Old and sore. So yeah, this here is kind of our living room setup. And this here is the ketchup setup, kitchen setup. Don't mind the mess. I know it's not the most nicest organization. Done here. And my cupboards, I love these cupboards. They're made out of rough cut lumber and the husband built them from scratch. And then we've got, for those days when it's too hot to run the wood stove, I do have my propane one. And yeah. And this one here is our bedroom. There's no power in here yet. But the wires are strung so we can have it eventually. So yeah, and this is our bedroom. Ooh, the nice piece of bed is back. I'm doing a walk through the house. Oh. And this is our horrible, messy bathroom. Dirty laundry, bathtub. It's about 8 o'clock at night, so we're bringing in a point two. There's the breakers for all the house. The one that's down is not connected as of yet. The inverter. We're at 11 point. Nine, not the greatest, but hey. My washing machine. Soon to be sink. These toilets are <laughs> horrible. <laughs> what? It's true. They weren't meant to be used the way we were using them. <laughs> Still, they're horrible. Ooh, nice butt, nice butt. There you go. Good enough for now. We have a hole. Fix my hole. I'll fix your hole, alright. Oh, baby.